Okay, let's get to it. So, the biggest change between the last time and this time, well, there's been multiple, I decided to play around and get the hang of things. First things first, we have the, uh, the white flowers, you know, those really rare ones that were supposed to make you rich? We have an entire field of them, because I decided to play around with the clock to figure out how they work. They're called white moon flowers, they appear to just be the flower. It's neat. It's very neat. I also went through growing a bunch of the random, like, veggies and whatnot that I could do. I guess in the meantime I can just plant some other things. By the way, uh, I should give a statistic this. I was save scumming, kind of time traveling if you play Animal Crossing to do this, so I was going ahead like two days in time to create them. The way you do this is you have to like uh, plant them, let the flowers bloom, and you're crossbreeding so you have like a a blue one and a gold one right next to each other and has a chance of giving an indigo one, a 20% chance when they turn into seeds. Um, and I got the indigo and the peach on the first try. So it was one set of two days for each of those. I planted them, waited two days, two days later they were seeds in the ground and I just picked up both peach and indigo. From there onwards, I also needed pink, which is red in indigo, I believe, which took me three times, I think, so like six days. It's like a 1% chance, but I was having 15 of them going at a time, so I got lucky. Then came the white moonflower, which was pink and indigo, I think, and that, no, pink and peach, pink and peach, that's what it was. That one took a little bit longer. Um, that one, I think, took me four tries. Hi there, I'm in the middle of streaming, so you need to go out. Sorry, that was my niece. Uh, my niece and nephew were staying the night last night, so, well, incredibly cute, and I love them dearly. I am trying to stream. Uh, what was I saying? Right, it's 1% chance of actually working, and I think it took me... Let's see, I think it took me two or three times for the pink? I think it was two times. And it took me three or four for the white. I want to say it was four. That would be eight. Two would be twelve. One for each of those would be another four. So it took me around 16 to 18 days, I think. I was time traveling, so it only really took me a few hours. Oh, well, I say a few hours. It took me like an hour of just save scumming it and learning how it all works but we could have done this legitimately it would just would have taken quite a few sessions because I don't plan on wasting I say wasting I don't plan on waiting for over two weeks for that in the meantime I harvest them all I don't think they're used for a quest or anything but I'll still keep my seeds on me and at some point I'll start making more of them I'm sure they're worth absolute ridiculous amount, so we're about to get and come into a lot of money. Also, if you notice, my sword is a little bit different. At the end of the last one, I was almost at the right amount of money, and I still had all that fishing to do, so I got a lot of sardines in the process of trying to get the little fish. So I decided just to sell some of the extra sardines I had and get the sword. It worked out for me. Also, if you're looking for maximum crop output, definitely water each stage. But I'm not looking for a max output. I'm just trying to plant something so I don't feel like I'm wasting. <laughs> so I'm not going to bother watering just because it does take a while. Sorry. It's a little bit early in the morning for me right now. It's only 7.45 a.m., so I'm just not fully here yet. I don't know why I got so many tomatoes and eggplants, considering they can produce, like, a lot. Oh! Apparently you can only have ten white moon flowers. Okay, I'm gonna go sell these then. 
I did not know that. That's good to know. White moonflowers are 5,000 apiece. Yeah, 50,000 is nothing to scoff at, especially when I only had 195 left. Yeah, that's pretty good. Come back in. So what I've done is I got every single item I needed, including the natural rubber. I found out that you can get the natural rubber from the field where that uh, giant monster boss optional guy spawns. And so since I was going through there to do stuff anyway, I would stop by there every single time. And eventually I got to the point where I had a few of them. So I was like, oh, I'll just run through and grind it then. So I just ran through with the boar, grabbing every spot, and it took quite a few tries, to be honest, but it's fine. I probably could have done this a better way. I probably could have bought them, to be honest, after growing these, but, like, you know, I'm me, and I wanted to do everything. I wasn't really expecting to be able to do this in this way. Put some pumpkins. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Okay, plant one dahlia and one tulip. Okay. And now we go. We have a decent amount of quests to turn in. A couple of which are over in the tavern here, so I'll go do that now. Yeah, I did. No. Sorry, it's been a few days since we last played. It's right here. Apparently, you can. Yeah, this is the only one I didn't get. Was because it was going back to that place, and I wasn't sure if it was a special thing. Hmm. What have we got today? Which this job should I give you first? And this is a new quest. I got a letter from the seafront postman. Apparently, he has a message for you. How mysterious. Yeah, absolutely. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. I figured it might have been something like that, but I didn't want to accept this off screen. Okay. Uh, we have a few different ways we could go. Let's go help out the postman first. It's new, and I can turn in the other quests while we're doing it. Just for a uh, measure of how much stronger I've gotten. I feel about that much. I'm not going to kill him in this attempt, but I've killed him like three or four times off screen. And I actually got a new word of power, or whatever they're called. The verse, I think. It's not that hard to kill him now, especially with the damage increase from the sword. I just have to be consistent and I don't get us burned out because it's not as slow. Also, something else I learned while I was just, you know, dicking around in the game and learning how it all works. These guys, right? If they're on the ground, you can press B to insta-kill them, and it brings out a bunch of baby spiders you have to fight instead, which are just one-shottable. makes grinding this a lot easier if you're looking for the rainbow spider silk, which is worth 2,000, which is 40% of what the white flowers are worth if you're not willing to, you know, do that. It's not bad, and I'm sure we're going to need it for a quest or something down the road. Hello, Mr. Boar. You and me are best friends. Um, to be real with you, I'm not sure where my... Oh, right. I remember where one of them is. Actually, I remember where two of the quests are. Perfect. Alright, let's turn those blowfish. I got fish. Fine work, my apprentice. Fine work indeed. Well, as promised, here's your next lesson. Two days later. And by the way, Pops, what are you doing with all these fish? Huh? I'm eating them. What else would you do with such tasty morsels? Your fishing skill has improved. Fisherman's Gambit Part 2. Alright, what's Part 3? Eh? 
Oh, right. Uh, the next assignment. Uh, go and catch me seven rainbow trout, would you? Are those freshwater? How on earth can one man possibly consume this much fish without growing weary of his diet? What I don't eat, I sell. But I can eat a lot. <laughs> now get moving, apprentice. Them fish won't catch themselves. So rainbow trout, I believe, are river fish, which means that we're probably going to need, like, earthworms or some other kind of bait. ready to get serious about fish. By the way, this is where you bite the... buy all the stuff. Uh... I was catching carp before in the freshwater. I guess I'll get more of the earthworms. Come back if uh, I'll figure out where to fish later. The woman from the lighthouse has passed. That's about what I figured. Ah. We found her in bed. She looked happy. So, I guess you didn't tell her, huh? A lie. No, I didn't. Thank you. I think you did right. Hard to believe she's gone. I always figured the old girl would outlive me. I hope our plan was right. I hope it made her happy in the end. Did we do the right thing? Was she happy? I do not know. None can say what true happiness is. Humans, and perhaps even magical tones, are far more uncertain creatures than we know. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Well, uh, time to become the best merchant around. I've got all the stuff you asked for. Your timing is, um, what's the word? Impeccable. They're gearing up to launch the trading vessel soon. As soon as the car goes on the ship, I can get my business rolling. But if you want to help load it, I can throw in a little extra. Sure, why not? Wow, this is a mess. Yeah, they're loading cargo from all sorts of traders onto this ship. It's kind of like... You know, egalitarianism. Uh, right. Anyway, leave it to me. We'll get this stuff organized in no time. If you carry the cargo to the front of the ship, the crew can bring it inside for us. Carry it over there. Got it. You say carry, I say push. I may. Yeah? What is it? What are we doing here? We're organizing this guy's stuff. Let me rephrase myself. This man is looking to open his own business, yes? Exactly. Then would it not be more appropriate for him to take care of his own belongings? The guy's in a pinch, Vice. We're just helping him out. I yearn for the day when someone shows such kindness to us. I have to agree with him just because that one line. Okay, all done. You're fantastic! Now we just have to wait for the ship to leave. You mind if I pay you after the transaction's complete? I can give you more money that way, and then everything will be... You know, uh, awesome. That's not the word I was expecting you to say. Thanks. Boy, hope. Oh. Okay. Well, hopefully he actually succeeds in this because that was a lot of work. Oh well. It'll be a good lesson for us if he doesn't. Okay, I want to check one thing online. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, do I have anything else left to do in town? Uh, Fisherman's Gambit is the new one. New Merchant Town. Oh, okay. I need to go back to the Tavern Keeper. I forgot about that. found your ingredients. Oh, you are a lifesaver. 
Let me just get your payment. Oh, and a meal on the house. 5,000 gold, nice. Voila, one bowl of our local specialty, sardine pasta. Oh, it looks delicious. Signature dish is complete. Oh. Hey, buddy. Excuse me, but can I get your help again? What's up? People are finally tiring of sardine pasta, and I'm fresh out of ideas for new dishes. You seem pretty well traveled for a kid. So if you run into any interesting recipes during your journeys, could you let me know? Absolutely. Well, I don't have much of an eye for cooking, but sure, I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much. Recipe ideas, huh? Maybe we can find a cookbook somewhere. I have no idea where that would be except for the mansion, which we can't get into yet. Apparently it's haunted and I guess we're too spooked. To be fair, if I was an adventurer, I hear Haunted Mansion, I go, intriguing. But I am also trying to save my sister, so I guess I get why we're not doing it. <laughs> Whenever I go through here, I try to kill one of these just to get the chance at the rainbow silk. Nope, just giant. The funny thing is that by the time I got the white flowers, I actually didn't need them anymore. I don't need the money right now. I will at some point, but I already have both swords that I could have bought. As well as all the different crops. And now I'm getting a bunch of money from quests. Okay. No chance any of the rare stuff, unfortunately. Well, I messed that one up. Oh well. Also, during the process of trying to get enough money for everything, including all the different seeds I needed, I ended up turning in a bunch of mutton because, you know, trying to get wool takes a while. It, I think, took me like 60 sheep to get enough, which gave me a lot of mutton to sell. And the goat hides took me something like 70, I think. Yeah. Actually, I can check the goat hides, at least. Raw materials. Let's go down until I get to the goat stuff. Did I pass it? Yeah. 61 goat meat. So I killed something like 70 goats. My, I guess 71, but also I'd already killed a couple from the previous time. Oh, I guess I killed the other one as crossfire. Okay. Okay. Uh, where exactly am I going? I'm going down there. Uh, it says south of the junk heap there is a dock. I thought it was talking to the dock down over on the other side, but apparently that one won't work. Give me a second while I look that up, just to see if this is even something I can do yet, or if this is, like, next level. Okay, it's not saying anything else. I'm gonna guess that it doesn't mean that one, and it instead means... I'm gonna assume it means this one over here. Because it doesn't specify one dock, it just says they're very common in the Northern Plains. I'm like, okay, yeah, that, that seems about right. Also, apparently, it's not what I thought, it's the lure. I couldn't catch them because they were too difficult to Learn from my past mistakes. This time I shall be silent. Why, those fish will have no idea that... Shh! You're scaring them away! <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, it's a lot more difficult than the carp were. And this is post-upgrade, so... There we go. What is it? Rainbow Trout, sure enough. So I don't need all those earthworms, but that's fine. I may use them for something later. It's not like it was a huge amount of money. It was like 300. Even larger than the last one. Wait, how many of these did I need? I think seven? 
At least it's gonna be consistent, unlike the blowfish. The blowfish were a major pain because it was like one out of every three or four fish. Imagine if the uh, if the uh, what was I trying to say? If the fish were a max of ten, that'd be terrible. Oh, of course I'd go to the library for a cookbook. Am I dumb? I'm dumb. Ah, an empty can. <laughs> I was like, that's not a rainbow trout. That's still not a rainbow trout. That looks like it's a rainbow trout. Except very upset. Of course, my last one would try to fight me. Done. Okay, so... What we know about eagle eggs is that they're available somewhere where you can get ore. Just get some bat wings because I might need them for later. Oh, bat fang that time. Appreciated nonetheless. That didn't work out. Well, I'll just head up here for now. This village is done for. Those Good for you. Shades. I mean, yeah, there are a lot of shades around here, but like, you know. Don't blame other people for your problems, especially people who are trying to visit who could help. I'm never coming out. Ever. Hmm. I feel like this is like a bad influence of the mind or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not finding anything. Guess it's down the other path. If it's a guaranteed spawn. If not, then I have to leave and come back and check all the ore spots. While I'm here, though, try to break every box. Because destruction of property is great! Is there another path upwards? Okay, there is. This is the path. There we go. This is the way. Also, the, there is like a weird lack of any ore spots. Also, I really don't like it here. It's a lot of people just being very depressing. Yeah, there wasn't a single spawn point here. Which I guess means I gotta leave and come back. Yeah, so this really should have been something I did off screen, is what I'm understanding. Oh, one of the rarest, huh? Okay, apparently you need to save, or at least that's what they recommend. It's probably so that you can, uh reload your save if they're not there. Oh. It doesn't want you to come up here. The wording on this is very confusing. It wanted me to go down. Got it. Oh, no, it did. It wanted me to... Got it. The wording on this guide is not helpful. <laughs> That's the best way I'll put it.
So it wants me to go up here. And it wants me to go below the chief's house. Okay, that one glowing spot down there. Apparently that's the spot that can give you the egg. Eagle Wild. This must be the egg. We'd better get it back to the tavern lady. Okay, well You bring death to this village. <sighs> You've certainly taken on a rather trying job this time. Come on, Vice, quit moaning, would you? I imagine this egg would fetch a princely sum if you sold it to the highest bidder. You know we can't do that. The tavern lady's waiting for it. Perhaps we should place our own financial situation ahead of the concerns of an elderly woman. Mm -hmm. Did you forget about the whole quit moaning thing? I mean, to be fair, while his claims are somewhat valid, I don't really care. I have money. I'm sure that the egg is not worth more than the white flowers, but I can also just, you know, pop out white flowers like nothing. I'll come back at a, you know, time off stream to actually get more of those, because apparently they're used for something later. But for now, I just move on. Well, thank you, guide, uh... It's from thegamer.com. I know I should... should blah, 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 blah. I was shit-talking your phrasing, but that's just because I was confused and not figuring out what you were trying to say. But know that it was helpful. <laughs> I know you'll never see this, and it won't matter. But, like, you know, being transparent is important. If these videos were to ever do anything, then I wouldn't want people thinking I was shit-talking someone. It's not good. I got your eagle egg. Thank you. Uh, give me a moment here. Mixing. And here we go. Could you bring this to my grandmother for me? She'll probably be near the fountain in front of the library. Sure thing. I'll get it to her as soon as I can. The old lady's elixir plus. Ma'am, I've got more medicine for you. Oh, what a nice young man you are. I've been just sick as a dog lately. Why, just this morning I woke up and found a giant. Oh, okay, I'd better get going. You take care of yourself, all right? You've been such a great help lately. Here's a little something for you. Such a good boy. 2,000 gold, appreciate it. Jack of all trades, I guess that's 20 achievements? Uh, 20 quests done? Whatever I was trying to say. Alright, now let's check out the library for that cookbook. Perhaps Popola would know. Either that or that assistant of hers. Let's see. Her assistant doesn't have a mark above her head, so hey, Popola! Do you have one? Hey, I brought a letter for you. Oh, right. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh dear. What's wrong? It's from the mayor of Seafront. He says that a horde of shades have appeared in the area. That's not good. My weapon was practically useless against the giant shade we fought there. I wish there was some way to strengthen my weapon. <clears throat> you know, there's a little shop at the entrance to the junk heap that might be able to help. If you bring them materials, they should be able to use them to enhance your weapons. 
Interesting. Guess I'll check it out. Oh, but it won't be free, you know. I figure you'll need around a thousand gold or so. Got it. If you need money, try visiting the tavern. That's usually where people go when they're looking to hire someone. Good advice. Okay, well, apparently it wasn't Popola, but that did unlock weapon strengthening. Popola asked me to organize the books, but I had no idea. Um. Oh, I can go in here now. What is the purpose of this place? Beats me. Maybe it's Popola's hobby corner. Is this a boss thing? What's that? It resembles the shade we saw in the Lost Shrine. Wild. Ah, Popola. The heck? Do you have something for me now? No? Cookbook. Where? I need it. Seems like people did nothing but write books. Mother and father are very busy, so I... Uh, wait, is this a book of recipes? Most seem to require rather exotic species of fish. Yeah, I haven't even heard of some of these. Let's go tell the tavern keeper about it. I just took the cookbook out of the library without asking. I don't feel like that's right, but I also don't feel like Popolo would stop us. Abnormalities. Wait, several deleterious abnormalities. What? 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 <laughs> what was that? Nani? <laughs> uh, future Gabe, have fun, have fun looking at that when you try to edit it and go like, what? The uh, Nani? Well, I got a weird diary entry from Yona. Or maybe it wasn't even Yona's. Oh, I just realized I also haven't given Yona stuff to cook with. I guess I'll have to take care of that later. Uh, I wonder which one's the main quest. Is it going to... It's probably going to do the upgrades, so I'll take care of Yona on the way to do that. Haha. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, I also haven't gone into that. I should probably do that. Uh, let's just go in here to show it off. If I can... It's this one. Got it. Here we go. I learned Solace, or Souls, or whatever. It's Paralyze. Well, that's neat. I also learned one that actually just upgrades the other one, but that might have been during the last stream. I don't know. It'd be faster if I just called my boar. Hello, Mr. Boar. Okay, so first things first, let's learn how to fish. I've got the fish. Well, scratch my back and call me Sally. Them's some rainbow trout, all right. You're getting better, young one. But this next technique is a tough one to learn. Best steal yourself. One week later. Wild. Fine work, son. Fine work indeed. I knew you'd make a good apprentice. <sighs> Let me rest. I did not imagine fishing to be such an extreme activity. Okay, part four? Yeah, part four. You've come far, my apprentice, but now the real fishing begins. This time I got a hankering for five bream. Go catch him. I want to say bream are an ocean fish. I just wouldn't be able to tell you where I could catch them. Um... Maybe if I try to use the lure here. Oh, hey, he's not You're talking. Really quiet, Vice. The fish will be scared away otherwise. Uh, no. Oh, I look. Yeah, but it's just weird. 
May I talk freely then? No. Then what would you have me do? Shh! You're scaring him away! Damn. I got distracted by the conversation and let go. <laughs> wow. You're a pain. Is that a... Uh... Oh. Yeah, it's a bream. Cool. I have got a bream before. Nice to see. Here we go, another one. Another one. It was five, right? Yeah. Only two more. Then I can turn it in and do the next one. Rinse, repeat. Or that could happen. And I could have an itchy trigger figure and finger, not figure, whatever. Listen, listen, if you have a uh, itchy figure, you should probably go to a doctor. We're trying to catch bream, not crabs. And I'm done. Okay. Here's your fish. Well, swab the deck and call me Ishmael. I knew you could do it. Hand them over, whippersnapper. I think these are worth more on the open market than the rainbow trout I caught earlier. Worth ain't squat. It's what you learn from the catch that matters. Now stop all this fool talk about your wallet and get to practicing. I mean, he's right because I can make more money being able to catch better fish. Hey, Pops, what does sprinting 20 kilometers have to do with fishing? You won't be catching anything with them scrawny little stick limbs. We gotta get you buffed up. He's hoping me get swole. Got it. Alright. The next assignment is five black bass. Go and give it everything you got, apprentice. I trust that you are not abusing our labors for the purpose of easy profit, old man. Oh. And would a little compensation be a bad thing? I'm teaching invaluable techniques here, you floating magazine. Eyes. It is clear that money is your ultimate goal, and Grimoire Vice is not to be referred to as a mere periodical. I mean, well, yes, but we can also now catch these things that we couldn't before and would have taken a lot more effort to learn how. It's give and take.